Hey, welcome back. This is going to be a quick video. We're going to add a link to the uh, nav bar up here, and also we're going to fix an error when you leave part of the input field empty. So we're going to fix a few things in our CRUD app. So let's fix up a few things. So right now, if I want to change to the uh, gadgets, I have to type in manually gadgets up in the URL. What I'd like to do is add this to a link here. So let's fix that problem first. So that should be pretty simple. If I go back into my code and I look for the uh, layout, so view, st let's go to, uh, let's go to the shared folder here and let's find the layout folder. Now you can see that there's a section in this layout called navbar and uh, there's three action links right now. So I'm just going to borrow the last one and uh, copy and paste it. So let's see what these uh, parameters are supposed to be. So if I hover over action link, you can see there's a hint. The first link is supposed to be the link text. The second is the action name and the third is the controller. So the text, let's say, let's uh, call this thing show uh, gadgets. And then the next one is the uh, action. So let's choose index. And then the third one is the controller. So that should be gadgets. And uh, I think that'll work. Let's save it and see if it works. So sure enough, I see up here, we've got a new item on the nav bar. If I choose show gadgets, it does show me that I am brought to the URL gadgets. So that seems to work. Now the next thing I'm going to fix is in this create form. So if I leave anything here empty and choose save, the application crashes. And the reason why is because it says uh, some of the values that come from our gadget model are null. So if I look in there, you can see that everything is null except for the uh, ID number. So we want to make sure that those are required fields. So let's stop the program and go fix that problem. So you can, in uh, mvc.net, you can fix this quickly just by going to the models. So let's go to the folder called models and gadget model. And then above each of these items, we're going to add a simple extra decorator or an annotation, we're going to call it. So I'm just going to put in the word required in square brackets. Now required is part of something that is um, imported. So we go to data annotations is our import. So you can see up here in line three, we have data annotations. So if I want something to be required, it's simply as putting the required part in just before the property name. So each one of these properties will be required for the, uh, the form. Also, uh, you can add another interesting one here called uh, display name. Uh, let's see, display name equals, and then you put in here, uh, appears in this movie, we're gonna say. So that'll be a little bit different instead of just appears in. And let's see, does display name not work? What's the matter with that? So we have to do component model. Let's see what that does. There we go. All right, so I think, what did I do wrong? Oh yeah, this one here is just a parentheses. Is that the right format? I hope so, let's try it and run it. Okay, so let's get back into the program here. We'll choose show gadgets. We'll try the uh, new, uh, create new button. And sure enough, notice first of all, the uh, display name is now different. And so if you wanted to modify this last one here, you could try that on your own. If I, if I leave something out, so if I put in a name and then choose save, the rest of them don't work. Uh, they say you have to have a required field. So it will not submit now until the field is uh, filled in. Now, how did that work? How did these error messages appear and all that? Well, it's all done here with the form. Let's go look at the form again. So let's go to gadget form. So we haven't actually talked a lot about what the items in this HTML are all about. We've just kind of assumed that they work and they do work very well. There's lots of things in here, but first of all, you'll notice here there's a validation error message. And so if something doesn't come out, we've got ourselves a uh, text message that's in the format of danger, it's red. And then of course the uh, messages themselves. Uh, there's also things in here called the anti-forgery tokens. So there's a lot of a lot of security and other formatting things that are done for us automatically. So we don't have to know a lot about programming to get a very functional application. So we've got two problems solved. We've uh, first of all put a link in the nav bar, and then we've solved this uh, empty field problem. 
So next, let's go to the video where we're going to do some updates and uh, not just creating people, but editing them as well.